guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. Today, I want to show you guys how I edit my podcast episodes, audio only, using Descript. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. We are almost like 20 away from 10K. I have videos that come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you subscribe. I am going to go ahead over to my podcast platform. I use Anchor. Right now, I am only releasing two episodes per month. I have a mini episode, like 10 minutes or less, and then a full episode that includes um, my rapid fire questions and my Q Money Bag style of the week. I went through my playlist and looked at some of the episodes that I originally recorded when I first started. And a lot of these episodes don't have over 100 listens. Um, Whereas, let me go back to the first page, whereas my newer episodes are doing really well. What I want to do is show love to those episodes and give my new listeners a way to listen to some of these episodes without having to go all the way back. I'm calling them rewind bonus episodes. If I wanted to download episode nine and rework it, I would have to go ahead and hit this button to download the episode. I download the episode. It Welcome is. back, guys, to the Coins and Connections podcast. This is I have that downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and close that, and then I'm going to go over to Descript. Descript is a podcast editing video tool that I love to use. The first thing I would do in Descript is this is my home page. So many different ways to get to this, but for one, I'm just going to click on new, and I'm going to click on project. This project will be episode nine. And I'm just going to put the word rewind. I know. <clears throat> Hit create project. And on my computer, I have different things. I could add them as project files or I can just add them as I go. So I want to show you what that looks like if you add something in your project files. I'm going to add this sound that I have been using for the rewind. I want to add that in there. Now it's under my project file. I'm going to go back to my original project and I'm going to go to, I have video intros and outros. I'm going to find my podcast intro that I have on my computer. And it asks me, I want to detect the speaker. On this episode, I'm the only person talking. So I'm just going to put my name in there. I'm going to click my link behind here. So I can add in a new file at the end of this one. I have to put my cursor down here. It adds it at the end of that. So that's the episode. And I know I wanna add the sound. So I grab it and I add the sound. At the end of my podcast intro, this is what you will hear. Now let's get into today's episode. I also have this little rewind thing that I also created um, from Eclipse. So let me see if I could add that project file because it helps me to not have to record a lot of stuff over and over again. It's called Rewind Clip and I think it might be on my desktop. Okay, it's Rewind Clip and I'm gonna put that before the actual rewind. I put the music in there all together. I'm just going to undo that. This is why I love it because you can just undo your mistakes, anything that you don't want. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in that rewind clip, but I'm going to add it like with the plus sign from the computer with the word rewind clip because I do want the words um, to... I do want the transcript to come up so I can transcribe that and then I'll the full rewind clip at the end of this. So that's why I love it. You can make a mistake and it's easy to fix. It's not like super hard for me to get back in there and do that. So now I can add the rewind clip at the end of that. It'll be an extra rewind um, ascent. I don't know if it went in though. Let's see. 
So I'll click on there, go to my project files and put it there. I need to go in and record myself saying episode nine, the title and when it was recorded on. So I'm gonna have to hit this record button, but I need to go back to see, okay? I am going to episode nine, ways to make money in 2019 selling. Let me go back, find a date. Let me go to Descript. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. And I'm gonna go back to Anchor. It's gonna record everything that I'm saying right now, but I can cut that out. Episode nine, ways to make money selling in 2019 selling. Recorded on December 16th, 2018. So now I'm gonna go back to Descript. And I'm gonna hit stop. It's actually gonna record everything that I just said. <laughs> All I wanted to say was today's episode will be a rewind of, and I need to go back. I wanna let you guys hear it, but then I'll let you see what I'm gonna do because episode nine is right here. So I'm gonna go back to Anchor. It's gonna record everything that I'm saying right now but I can cut that out. Now that I need to cut it out, I'll just go ahead and backspace. We'll go back to the beginning so you can hear what it's supposed to sound like. Be a rewind of episode nine, ways to make money selling in 2019 selling. I was actually supposed to say ways to make money in 2019 selling. In 2019 selling. And that's a pause, so I wanna take that out. I'll just. Bring that closer now. Recorded it on December 16, 2018. Okay, so now that I went back, now I can take that out. And then this transaction should be able to move smoothly. And I'm gonna play that whole part for you guys, okay? Today's episode will be a rewind of episode nine, ways to make money in 2019 selling. Recorded it on December 16, 2018. Some of you have probably never heard this episode. So on my off week of new episodes, I want to go ahead and do a few rewind episodes. You'll be getting the real raw beginning stages of me when I first started this podcast. That's the full rewind. So now I want to bring in the clip from the actual episode nine. Well, where you at? You seem to get yourself locked up someplace. I'm going to go to the plus sign and I'm going to go to voice file. And because it was the last clip that I actually downloaded, I know this is it right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and it's going to go ahead and transcribe that entire file. I'm going to hit transcribe and because I'll see the transcription, it'll be easy for me to cut out some of the episodes, like the beginning intro and anything that I said. And then when I first started recording, I didn't have editing software. <laughs> I didn't, I used to leave in all the ums and stuff because I didn't have that. Once it's finished transcribing, you'll be able to see how I take out the ums and how I do a little bit of editing. I'm not gonna edit the whole entire file because it is like a 10 minute file. So I don't want you guys to get bored. It is all transcribed. And if I go ahead and click play right here, you guys will see. First, I need to, I need to edit the rewind sound. I'm gonna bring that down right there. And then you guys will see if I hit play, it's gonna play the entire episode that I downloaded from Anchor. But I don't want all of that. So welcome back guys to the coins and connections podcast. This is your girl. Sing I don't want any of that. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. And it's easier for me to have this. So I know. So it says we are back episode nine. And I said, how are you guys been since the last podcast? I'm going to take that out because I already said episode nine. I don't want to repeat it. This will start with, how are you guys doing? Have you missed? 
now I put this in there. I can edit that podcast. How are you guys doing? Okay, there we go. Have you missed me since the last podcast? So I think we all know that time is winding down and 2018 is coming to a close. So I wanted to be able to come here and give So I say so a lot and I say a lot. These are my filler words, but I want to go ahead and show you guys how I get rid of a lot of my filler words. A lot of them are underlined with the blue. So I just right click, I hit remove filler words and it shows me all of the filler words, the orange. So I'm going to apply to all. Okay, so it's like 33 selections. And then as I go through, I'm gonna edit it as well. When I see myself saying so a lot and it does not really need to be there, I will take it out. So it's so after so after so because that's how I start some of my conversations. Taking out a lot, <laughs> see, I do it here too. So taking a lot of souls out. So let's just listen to this without the word. I'm excited to see what I can do on those websites. And I want you guys to explore those options as well. That's number one. Number two is selling eBooks, paperbacks, and audiobooks. We all know the famous KDP website, which is great. So that's just a teaser here. If I wanted to add studio sound to this bulk of clip, just to make it feel better, I could add it studio sound. I could do an equalizer. I can make this audio sound so much better. So I can hit studio sound and it'll apply to that bulk that I just uploaded and it'll give it a, a better sound. As I scroll down, I need to find the end of this episode because normally what I do is I say stuff. So here we go. It says be that I have a few people that are listening and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Okay. I don't need any of this. If you want to get a little bit more information from the YouTube channel, thanks again for tuning in. I'm excited to reach under the listener of the podcast. I'll leave that in. And then here, I'll add in that ascent again, letting it know that it's like the end of this podcast. I'm going to take the butt out. And then I'm going to add at the end of this my outro. Here we are. Information on my YouTube channel. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so excited. We reached like 100 listens on this podcast. I haven't formally pronounced it to the world yet, but not pronounced well announced. Let's see how that sounds. Well announced. So it's hard sometimes to get that sound in there. These are like little things you can move to make volumes louder. And you can tell, let's go back up to the top, how the sound sounds. Stickers, you can sell patches, pins, and buttons. The studio so sound. So this is a wonderful way and to- And you can turn it down. It in with the younger crowd. I have numerous stickers on my laptop. I know kids often put them on their walls, on their notebooks at school, just about anywhere that their parents. So that has them. an echo. Some kids probably even put them on their games. Just think about that when you're creating stickers, uh, patches. We like to sew them. If you don't like something, change it. Onto our hats, the jeans, echo is gone. Jackets. More studio quality. That's a lot what I do with my audio clips. And then, of course, I'm going to go back through here and edit the whole bulk of the podcast. But I wanted to just give you guys a look at how I do things. You can change clip speeds, audio on just about everything. If I wanted to add studio sound to my staple intro, I can. But this just helps me to edit faster and more efficiently, especially if I wanted this to become a, if I wanted this to become a blog post, um, super easy to take my uh, writing and hit the tool and I can do the tech transcript errors and things will pop up and then I can use the correction wizard 
where I can change some of the wording around. It's just so many different things that you can do with Descript. And I have the link in the bio for you guys on this video and on the podcast episodes. It has been a lifesaver to use and I am forever a customer. It makes my video editing easier. It just makes my life easier <laughs> in general, super thorough. And the more that I learn about different things to use, the better quality and sound of my podcast and my videos will be just by using it. Here we have it and it says start correction wizard. See that my four favorites are printful. So it'll stop. If you need to change that, maybe if I didn't say favorites, I said favorite. And I needed to change that word in, I would just hit a set. And when I hit a set, it would go to the next one. And T public. I'm excited. T public. I need to correct the spelling of T public. And then I hit backwards and then I set. And it'll keep going. The famous Katie But right now, <laughs> that's not what we're here for. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun bringing you guys along for this over the shoulder podcast editing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. I love you more than I love this video. Peace.